Hi, I'm Laura Tangren, and we are here with Fraser's 18th Mobile Stroke Unit, which is the first in Florida. I'm so excited to get UF Health Shands on the road here in Gainesville with their first mobile stroke unit. As you can see, we've got a Freightliner M2 crew cab. You can carry five people in the crew cab and you can carry three in the back in seated positions. So we have our O2 compartment here. You unlock your lift and you can bring it out and it comes all the way down to the ground for you to put your O2 canister in. As all Fraser units, we have our super simple electrical compartment with our electrical print telling you everything that's on your unit, all of your warranty information and our service number. So you can make a quick call to help you get this rig back on the road again. This compartment is for a stair chair and has an adjustable shelf for other gear. Because you don't have an ALS or front inside outside compartment on a mobile stroke unit, you do still have an inside outside compartment. It's just on the rear storage. So you can see that you have an inside outside part above the shelf and then storage below the shelf. A Fraser mobile stroke unit is normally staffed with an EMT driver, a paramedic, a critical care nurse and a CT tech, and you have neurology on telemedicine. In this unit, we have a MaxLife telemedicine system. It has additional cameras in the ceiling, a point tilt zoom, has additional speakers, and all of the peripherals that a doctor needs to get the best view of their patient on the cot. In the mobile stroke unit, when you're doing the scan, you don't have to worry about wearing lead if you are at the rear scan station. But if you're up here by the scanner itself, you can have a lead apron and we do have a rack for that. The scanner itself though is lead lined. There's an interior center bore that has lead lining and then you have a lead scatter curtain on the back and lead scatter curtains on the front. This makes this scanner very, very safe and makes it so you don't have to have lead lining in the walls of the actual unit you have this extra area back here to mix medications, to do labs, and if you need an extra hand and a tiny bit of extra space, you get an extra table back here too. This allows you to have more space to complete the job for the patient. Additionally, we have a cabinet that houses the Max Life equipment in the top, and then below, you have a refrigerator, freezer warmer, most mobile stroke units keep this as a fridge and it has a double locking mechanism so that you can easily get into the medications and this keeps it cold all the time. So on this mobile stroke unit we have an additional drug box here. This is a double locking drug box as well but it's not refrigerated. Some units have med vaults, others have compact boxes. You can have anything that your service provides. Also, we have the Techna mount. In this case, it's for a Zoll X series, but it can be for a life pack, as many of our Fraser units have the Techna mount. And we have an arm that can go on the cot to move the life pack or Zoll from that station to the cot. Also, we have the fire comms in this unit. And the reason is you don't have a pass through in a mobile stroke unit that you can speak through. So, you have the fire comm so that each person can talk to the front and back effortlessly. So after the scan has been completed, the scanner needs to come back to the front wall and be locked into position. This locking mechanism assures that the scanner is locked into the steel front wall. Additionally, we have netting. This netting is not meant to hold the scanner in the event of a crash, rather it will collect any pieces if pieces are removed from the scanner during the, during the crash. So any small pieces won't fly towards your patient or your staff. You lock this into place as quickly as you saw it come down and you use these belts at the bottom to click it just like any seat belt 
and you've got this locked and ready to go. A safety feature on a Fraser unit is that if the scanner is not locked securely into the front wall, the driver gets an alarm and lights to let him or her know not to drive the unit until this scanner is safely secured. When you're ready to get back on the road, a technician can sit in this position. They can move this back and this becomes a laptop station that they can work on. And that way they can chart and send things back to the hospital on the way back. So for CTA or CTP, you need an injector for contrast. We have a place to store the injector and then you would take the injector out of this storage location and put it on this pole using the screen here to start the injector with the scan. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Fraser's 18th mobile stroke unit, the first in Florida. If you want to learn more about starting a mobile stroke program in your community, reach out to me at ltangren at fraserbuilt.com or go to our website at fraserbuilt.com.